Welcome back to Trello 101. I'm here to help you guys with the calendar view. All right, we've looked at Trello's cards, boards, lists, how to use them, but let's go through a very, very interesting and useful feature that Trello has to offer for, uh, to us. So it's a power-up. So on Trello, you have a lot of power-ups. We'll go into detail more about the uh, power-ups that you can use, but we're gonna look at one specific power-up, and that is Calendar View. So join me right here on the screen. We see the workspace that we've created and the boards that we've created with the list and the cards from the previous videos. If you haven't checked them out, please do check them out. The little, I don't know which side it is actually, I have to get used to this, the little I on this side. So here we got our screen. On the right hand side, we'll see here is a button called Power Ups. We click Power Ups. We say add a power up. And now we get this amazing screen with a lot of power ups. This is what makes Trello so amazing. You can almost find a power up or a add on to your Trello that will fit your needs. So we're gonna just go ahead here in the search bar on the left hand side, we're gonna type in calendar. We see calendar power up, <laughs> 9 million uses of this power up. So we can see this is a very, very useful power up and we'll see why right now. So let's add it, go ahead and add it. We see it's enabled. And now when we go back to our board, our uh, board that we have here called work Workflow, we have on the right hand side, just next to the power up button, calendar power up. So what does this do? Well, to demonstrate, I'm gonna use the cards that we already have. I'm gonna add dates to them. So let's do that. So cold print shop, that is a card that we've created. And on the right hand side, we'll create a date. So let's say this needs to be done on Friday, which is tomorrow. And then we're gonna say that time, check on client. We need to check on client on Monday, the 10th of April. There we go. And then logo design was completed, say yesterday. Uh, we're just doing it retroactively and we're gonna mark it as uh, completed. So here we have a few dates with our cards on the Trello normal list form way. What do we call that? Like a normal Trello list. All right, so let's go calendar power up. We just click that button, very simple. And then look at this, April 2022. We have the whole April on our screen, listed in dates in a calendar view, which is amazing. So we have logo design, you see it's scratched out, meaning it's done. And we see cold print shop, I have to do that Friday and Oh, we see we have made a mistake here. We we'll check on client, Sunday the 10th. We can actually just click on that button there, click on the, the card on the calendar view, and we can actually just go ahead and change it to Monday the 11th. And now we see instantaneously changed. So this is a very easy way to check up on what's going on with a very good, I know some people function better with the calendar, uh, with the calendar view. So. We can have everything here and it's very, very structured. Now, what's another amazing feature of this is this can also be synced with your Google Calendar. So that's pretty easy to do. If you look here at the top right corner, which then reads Calendar Power Up Settings, and it says sync this Trello's board calendar with your personal calendar. Very useful. So we can click Enable Sync and we get a link. We get a link there, it's called an iCalendar feed. What we can do is we can just take that link, Control C or Command C, copy that link, and then we go over to our calendar. Any calendar application should work with this link. And then for this example, we use calendar.google.com. So it's Google's calendars. And we're here on Wizards account. And we see here that we have add a calendar on the left hand side. We can subscribe to a calendar, create a new calendar, browse calendar of interest, or from URL, and that's where we wanna be. From URL, we just copy that calendar in, we add that calendar, and just give it some time to add the calendar, it's just finding the calendar, and then, boom, check here on the left bottom side, we have it, settings for other calendars, holidays, in Namibia and then also workflow is added there. So on your phone, just make sure you've selected that you also wanna see that calendar on your Google calendars 
and then your whole workflow on Trello is on your calendar. Very simple, very easy to use. Stick around for more uh, tutorials on Trello, on this Trello 101 series, and subscribe, like, share, and I hope you found it useful. Thank you.